ladies and gentlemen, this is a story that came out in Times Live. This is about Zambia. Well, the people in Zambia are really, really ticked off at what they see as a Chinese takeover of their country. And it's really coming out, especially over these last few weeks. I watched another video where there was a shooting in Zambia and the Zambian woman went on a rant about the Chinese need to leave. So I don't think things are gonna go so well in Zambia at this point in time. You know, something's gonna give. These people are not gonna sit on their anger forever. So this came out September 23rd, 2018. Say no to China. Anger mounds in Zambia over Beijing's presence. China equals Hitler, said the sign held up by Zambian capital Lusaka by a protester opposed to Beijing's tightening grip on the economy of the Southern African nation. The demonstrator, James Lukuku, who leads a small political party, was picked up by police and spent several hours in a cell reflecting on his one-man protest but he's not alone in opposing China's growing presence in President Edgar Lungu's Zambia. In particular, its major program of loans to Lusaka. In fact, his criticism echoes concerns shared by many across swaths of Africa and beyond, where some fear that China's mega projects risk leaving already fragile economies in even worse shape. I want to bring attention to the international community, the Chinese influence and corruption in Zambia, said Lukuku, who wore a white t-shirt emblazoned with the slogan, hashtag say no to China. China is the main investor in Zambia as it is in several other African countries with its offers of unconditional aid, most public tenders are awarded to China, Chinese bidders. And Lusaka and across the country, China is busy constructing airports, roads, factories, and police stations with the building boom largely funded by Chinese loans. You know, and here's the thing, people from Zambia, you wouldn't be able to board a plane and go set up all those businesses in China. They would have an issue with that. You know, maybe sometimes y'all need to say no to these loan offers. It, plus they're imbalanced anyway. It only tips in the favor of China. China is about to take everything from Zambia. They have been taking over the economy through the criminal debt. The debt is China, even without parliamentary approval, said Lukuku. Zambian public debt is officially around 10.6 billion, but suspicions have grown in recent months that the government is hiding its indebtedness as happened in neighboring Mozambique, which in 2016 was forced to admit it had kept secret 2 billion of borrowing. Fearing that Zambia might be in a similar position, the International Monetary Fund at one point delayed talks over 1.3 billion loan deals, the slump in the price of copper, Zambia's leading export, has led to fears that Lusaka might even struggle to service its existing debt. Lukuku and his supporters believe that the state is on the verge of handing control of Zesco, National Electric electricity company. Now I heard this, um, heard about this company before. Lusaka 
airport and ZNBC, state broadcaster to China. Man, don't y'all give nothing to China. <laughs> don't y'all give anything to them. Stung by the criticism that he was selling out to China, Langu has hit back at critics. I deplore you to ignore the misleading headlines to seek to malign our relationship with China by mischaracterizing our economic cooperation to mean colonization. Um, you know, that I have to tell you is the biggest fear the people have. You know, they've already been colonized by the US and Europe why would they want to live through another colonization? You know, Europe, the U.S., China, y'all all need to get out of there. Let Africa have an opportunity to stand on their own and stop trying to talk about what somebody can't do. No, they can do it. You just don't want that to come out. Just like we can stand on our feet. You just don't want that to come out. So you keep throwing all kinds of uh, stumbling blocks in the way and trying to give the illusion that people don't know what to do and you're straight up lying. No, you fear that we can make it without you. That's your fear. And that's going to become more evident as time goes on because, you know, you're losing population. So that's going to be very apparent very shortly. Okay. Finance Minister Margaret Mawakatwi has also come out to insist that in the first half of 2018, 342 million was paid in interest to creditors, of which 53% were commercial sector and only 30% of which were Chinese. But the country's main opposition party has put China's debt dominance at the forefront of its campaign to unseat the government. Opposition figure Stephen Katuka warned against the rate Zambia is entertaining Chinese nationals, which are displacing Zambians throughout big financial offers. Um, okay. Which I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that China's coming there and trying to undermine the people. So I certainly see why they are upset. And they have every right to be upset. All right, let's just go down. All right. Zambia has been dominated by the West for 100 years, and we are seeing poverty all over the continent. The partnership level is around 10 billion, and that is good. There is no other country that offers those kinds of opportunities. So they're talking about what China offers, but at the end of the day, it ain't going to be worth it, y'all. <laughs> it is not. Give China back their money and get them out of your country. I am not happy with the, China, the dominance of Chinese contractors in the first place. The money that they get from these contracts are externalized and all that they return here are mere wages said um, okay so that's one of the contractors let the Gambia let the government also give us the contract so that they can benefit Gambians and exactly right you should never let anybody in your land unless you see the biggest benefits going to your people and not the outside foreigner. And that's where many of these people are making mistakes in these loans. They are getting loans, but China's getting the biggest benefit. And believe me, what the resources are worth over there, China couldn't have enough money to pay for those resources. $60 billion may sound good, but you have an endless supply of resources that are worth a hell of a lot more than $60 billion. But I, you know, I understand 
you know, because nobody has really come in to offer to build up the infrastructure. We know the West don't do that. These are the most selfish people to ever walk the planet. They don't care about nobody other than themselves. So we know all the time the West colonized the place. They didn't do squat other than look out for their own wallet. And China is just going in there and trying to do colony part two. And yes, I understand the anger of the Zambian people. You need to fight this as hard as you can. Even if your leadership is inviting it, that doesn't mean the people have to follow behind that. But tell me what you think. A lot of people are angry in Zambia. They are angry at their politicians. They're angry at the Chinese presence there. And they feel slighted. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.